To set the evening's theme, I ask senior Michael Greco of St. Charles to deliver this year's senior speech. Michael. Good evening. I hope everyone is having an amazing time so far tonight. As I begin, I'd like to thank my family. My two brothers, Nick and Sammy, who both attended Marmion, and especially my parents. Thank you for being my biggest supporters and always encouraging me to be the best version of myself. You have always been incredible role models for our family and have never put yourself first. Without you, I would not have been able to attend Marmion Academy, this place that we all call home. Father Abbot John, Mr. Tenorella, Mr. Large, amongst the Marmion, esteemed faculty, staff, alumni, honored trustees, parents, guests, and my fellow Marmion brothers. I'm both humbled and honored to have the opportunity to stand before you tonight as we celebrate this wonderful Marmion tradition, the 60th anniversary of Salute to Youth, and to proudly honor the class of 2023. <clears throat> Now, let's think about what has changed, possibly gotten weaker, or even gone away over the last 60 years. Virtually nobody has a home phone anymore. Going to work no longer means heading into an office. And religion now seems to play a much smaller role in people's lives. But not here at Marmion. Marmion has remained constant. Marmion has gotten stronger. Marmion has and will stand the test of time. Marmion is stability, which is one of the Benedictine hallmarks. In eighth grade, like most of us, I was both nervous and excited to attend high school, an all-guys high school nonetheless. Having two older brothers and two cousins already at Marmion, I didn't have much of a choice of where I was going. That being said, I was concerned about whether or not I can make Marmion my own thing. Now, looking back, I certainly wouldn't have it any other way. Marmion is home to me and to all of my fellow cadets. Some of my earliest experiences before attending Marmion were the after school formations, sporting events, and being in disbelief at how late my brothers would stay up doing homework. Oh, and it's hard to forget the day that I shadowed at Marmion. I walked into the school and was immediately met by my brothers. They gave me a very short and lazy tour, introdu introduced me to their friends and some of their teachers. And then, of course, they stuffed me into a locker. <laughs> and all this happened before A period even started. Now, as strange as it may sound, it was one of the greatest days that I could remember I knew at that very moment how Marmion was going to change my life. Pulling into Marmion for the first time as a student on day one, with my parents crying nonstop the entire drive there, I knew that this was for real now. You step out and you hear crazy amounts of cheering and clapping. Then you are immediately met by another student in a red mentor shirt. He shakes your hand firmly, looks you in the eye, and genuinely says to you, welcome to Marmion. I want to stop and emphasize how real and genuine this is. The rule of St. Benedict is to welcome the guests as if they were Jesus. This is a rule of love, and love at Marmion is something you can feel from the second you step foot on campus your very first day. It was at that moment that I realized that I wanted to be a cadet for life. One of the first phrases we hear at our freshman orientation is, if you do not experience Jesus in these hallways, then we have failed you. And hearing this for the first time, I was, I was a little taken aback. I thought to myself now, okay, wow, that's a, that's a pretty bold statement. But now, as I reflect, I can confidently say that every one of us has experienced Jesus Christ in one way or another.
whether it was through a fellow student, a teacher, a hallway conversation, a daily mass in student chapel, or through spiritual events such as Kairos. So what makes a man of Marmion different? A man of Marmion is someone who is an example of Christ to all those around. He is someone who will simply hold the door for you. A man of Marmion will firmly shake your hand and look you in the eye. A man of Marmion will always stand up for the underdog. He is your rock solid friend that you can count on every single time, no questions asked. A man of Marmion is someone who puts Christ first, others second, and himself last. Marmion always encourages students to give back through service opportunities. I'd like to share with you a story from my junior year. It was a Special Olympics track and field event being hosted on campus. Like every Marmion Special Olympics event, a huge turnout of cadets came to support the athletes. I could stop the story here because of how impressive it is that all these busy teenage guys want to spend time on their weekend helping with the Special Olympics. It is inspiring to see. But it was actually on the drive home that I witnessed something that made me understand what it really means to be a man of Marmion. My best friend Barry and I were driving back from the event. We were stopped at our neighborhood stop sign. We looked to our left, and we recognized the person in the driveway. It was one of the athletes from the event. He was jumping and skipping down his driveway, smiling ear to ear, all while wearing the medals that he had earned earlier in the day. At that moment, I realized that he could feel the love of that day, and that everyone there wanted to be there. I also wondered if he realized that all of us felt his love as well. In other words, we get just as much, if not more, from these events. We feel fortunate to be able to lead them with love as men of Marmion. This example of serving would not be possible without a strong faith foundation provided to us by the monks of Marmion. These are men who have devoted their lives to giving back, all while guiding us in our faith in God. These men participate in all the student activities that we do, hearing their voices over the intercom every day, leading prayer, running our spiritual events, teaching classes, and attending the events of the school. You will even see them occasionally participating in the student versus do faculty dodgeball or basketball game. And now, we may look to them for their spiritual guidance. There is not a chance that we will look to them for their athletic abilities. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> in, all, in all seriousness, these men share extraordinary values and live their lives as models of Christ. The monks truly care for each of us and for this school. In particular, I'd like to thank Father Michael he has played a very significant role in my time here at Marmion. In the second semester of his sophomore class, Father Michael taught us about morality. I deeply enjoyed learning about this, and it was one of the first major steps in strengthening my faith. I was blessed with the opportunity in my junior year to be a Kairos leader for my classmates. Father Michael taught me to look at my faith in a new way, to see the personal, all-loving God that we have. Father Michael is just one of the monks who plays an essential role in all the Marmion cadets' lives. Thank you, Father Michael, and thank you to all of the monks. <laughs> the teachers of Marmion Academy are one of a kind. They are a true blessing and value every student in their classrooms. The teachers build a relationship with each and every student they want their students to grow academically and are always there to talk through life's challenges. I'd like to personally thank Mr. Malkowski, a Marmion alum who serves in numerous roles here. You might know him as a teacher, retreat leader, student council moderator, campus ministry director, or just the guy you go to in between classes to get some candy from. But everyone knows him as a friend and as a great guy. He encouraged me to get involved and to join service programs and retreats. He invited me to go on a week-long service trip to Nazareth Farm in West Virginia, where we rebuilt houses in impoverished areas. That is a week that I will never forget. So thank you, Mr. Malkowski, for giving me and all the students the opportunity to grow in our faith through service and action.
Mr. T always says that our class brought back that Marmion cadet spirit after the pandemic, and I believe this to be true. That Marmion spirit and brotherhood did come back and has been evident in all the things that, that Marmion has achieved in this past year through the pride assemblies, the success of our, successes of our athletic teams, we'll never forget the super sectional games of our basketball and soccer teams, our fine arts accomplishments, and so much more. That Marmion spirit and brotherhood, love, and support are hard to put into words, but really, cadets support each other no matter what. Now, only the mothers in this room know this, but at no other high school do students get as excited as they do for the mother-son dance. <laughs> we get silly, we dress up in themed costumes, and we dance the night away. Again, only pure support for one another. If you can only see the looks filled with the dancing moms or sons, it is an entertaining sight to see. <laughs> so how do we continue to be men of Marmion? A man of Marmion is something different, something deeper, something authentic, something loyal. A man of Marmion is someone who is an example of Christ to all those around. As I close, I'd like to draw attention once again to the Marmion alumni in this room. Thank you for blazing the trail for us, the class of 2023. We will make you and the Marmion community proud as we embark on the next stage of our lives. We will never forget this place that we call home. We will strive to make the world a better place, and we will live our lives for God and for our brothers. And yes, we will continue to hold the door for others, look you in the eye, give you a firm handshake, and be that friend that everyone needs. We are men of Marmion. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs>